Hello Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is going to be your weekly love reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. If you guys are currently subscribed to my channel, I just want to thank you for all the love and support. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to enter a chance to win a free 30 minute love reading with me you just have to tap one time on that red subscribe button and you can also click on that bell right next to it to get a notification um, so that anytime I post a reading you don't miss out on any of my weeklies or monthlies okay if you would like to view your free monthly love sex money and career readings for the month of July the links are in the description box below um, I get a lot of comments on all my decks I have all my decks listed in the description box below um, this week we're going to be using the good tarot which is number seven on the list below you can um, uh, there's a link to Amazon right next to every deck, so if you want to go ahead and purchase or view it, you can go ahead and do that, okay? For personal readings, I am taking personal readings right now. Um, if, you are, uh, if you've never had a reading with me before, your first reading is going to be $10 off uh, any reading, 30 minutes or more. So I don't know how long I'm going to be running that promotion, so grab it while you can, guys, okay? Um, all right, so let's see what we have for you guys. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure to like. If it does not, please remember it is a general reading. If you're looking for more clarity, you can always book me for a personal session. Um, just don't take it to heart. Don't take it personally. It's just not your message. Okay, Aquarius? Okay, let's get started. Holy Spirit, angels, friends, and guides, what messages do we have for Aquarius? The week of July 22nd to July 28th, please. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Okay, guys, we have the King of Earth, so we could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have the Four of Earth. We have the Nine of Air. We have the Two of Water, which is the Two of Cups. We have the Hermit, we could be dealing with a Virgo. We have the Justice card. We have the Messenger of Air, we could be dealing with uh, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, excuse me. That's the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Air. We have the Five of Air. We have the Three of Earth. We have Love. We have the Five of Earth. We have the Queen of Fire. We could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. We have the Tower. We have the Four of Fire, which is the Four of Wands. We have the Sun, we could be dealing with a Leo. We have the Seven of Air, which is the Seven of Swords. And we have the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, so under the deck here we have the world, a karmic cycle ending, so something new can begin. So we may be experiencing some endings coming into the third week of July. 
So we're starting here with the Queen of Fire, which is a very sexy energy. Um, this is someone who is very intelligent, generally self-employed or has a good job, very fiery, loves to communicate, loves to socialize, um, you know, just likes to be at the center of attention, likes, it's a, it's a fire energy, loves to travel, loves to, you know, communicate. Um, we have that being clarified by the King of Earth, which is a very committed and nurturing energy. Um, this is also someone who could be self-employed, very focused on their money, okay? But now we have the Knight of Air here, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy coming in, which tells me that, um, either you, I, I feel here that this card this is normally my mr drama card okay so we could have a lot of drama happening here but i feel like something is is being cut out of the picture here um and we have the tower here which means very sudden change very sudden change okay something's going to end and end very quickly a tower is going to fall the good news it does bring illumination with it it does bring a new beginning um, we have the four of earth here. We have the four of earth here uh, But unfortunately guys no matter how much you want to hold on to this situation. It's going down. It's going down We've got the tower here. We have uh, the ten of air here. Somebody feels very deceived Somebody we have the ten of, of wands. Here. I'm sorry the ten of swords here. Um Somebody feels very deceived, very stabbed in the back, very hurt, and this is definitely an ending. We definitely have something ending here to have the tower and the ten of air here. Um, I feel that being that we have the four of earth in the middle, one person may want to hold on, but the other person is done. We have a tie. I mean, it is, I cannot tell you how done this relationship is. Um, we definitely have something ending here. We have the four of fire. This could be someone that you're living with. It could be a marriage. It could be somebody that you have children with. It's definitely a, a deep commitment here. We have the nine of air, the nine of swords, which is um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. We have the five of air here, which means um, there's going to be quite a bit of conflict, drama, and fighting, and one person will walk away. Um, the good news is here is that we have uh, healing and growth. We have healing and growth here. We have reconciliation, um, soulmate energy, deep commitment, but this can be with a third party energy here, guys. So Aquarius, I feel like there's going to be an ending to one relationship and a beginning with another definitely with another. I do not see reconciliation happening with this person um, that is, is this tower person here. This is something new here. We have the seven of swords here, um, which indicates a lot of lies, cheating, sneaky behavior. So I feel like someone here was cheating and now um, the relationship with the current person is going to end and we have a new relationship starting with the person that you know you were um, cheating with uh, so or with the third party person we have the hermit card here so there may be some um, you know you may have it be, be withdrawn about this somebody may feel bad for everything that happened you may be analyzing your love life now and again this could all be vice versa you may be analyzing your love life right now but ultimately here Aquarius we have a new beginning in passion new beginning in travel, um, you know, so you may be traveling with this new person. We have justice here and the five of earth, okay? Justice here and the five of earth. So Aquarius, um, you know, you either you were left out in the cold or someone else was left out in the cold here, um, but it was for a reason. It was for a reason, okay? This, this karmic cycle had to end and maybe it wasn't fair maybe it wasn't fair that this person got left out in the cold but the bottom line here is is nobody deserves to be in a relationship where you know someone is cheating on them nobody here deserves to be in a relationship where the love isn't there you know so it just had to end the relationship had to end and and you know you had to move on to the person that you have feelings for or you know your person had to move on from you to move on to the person that they have feelings for okay 
So we have the world here. We have the world here. Um, so something is ending, so something new can begin. And the new thing that's going to be beginning is a, is a new commitment. We have the Queen of Earth here. Again, very heavy um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Um, it's a new commitment here. And we have the Eight of Air here, which means that you know we're done feeling trapped we're done feeling trapped and we're going to move on to what makes us happy uh this this hierophant this commitment with someone else here that makes us happy we have the eight of fire here which means that you are going to be communicating something that you've been waiting a very long time to communicate the hanged man i feel like this has been going on for a very long time aquarius this has been going on for a very long time either you have been in a third party situation for a long time or your person has and this is all going to come tumbling down and you're going to speak your truth and whether it's fair to this other person or not um you know you just have to do you you know that's just the bottom line all right guys uh please don't forget if you want more clarity on this um you get ten dollars off your first reading with me 30 minutes or more information on how to book a session with me is in the description box below and guys don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win that free 30 minute love reading with me um if you enjoyed this and it resonates please be sure to like and uh if it doesn't resonate please keep in mind it is a general message this just isn't your message if it doesn't resonate with you okay all right, guys, take care.